So you remember when BBL Drizzy went on that whole unfollowing spree and he just got tired of everybody on his IG friend list. Delete. He started unfollowing LeBron, DeMar DeRozan, a bunch of different other people, quote unquote, that was his friends that he's tired of following at this point. Well, as it turns out, he's even more saltier than that. And he was just on stage talking about how he's tired of all these fake friends. You got to hear this. Sh I'm going to tell you one thing about nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia this party here. My real friends are definitely in the building. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try to move fun with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization. Wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. Sometimes you know what to say Well, cry me a river, Drake. Cry me a river. Nobody cares about how you feel about people supposedly changing up on you. How people feel and interact with you to current day is a direct result of you and what you've done to people. No friends in the industry, my brothers been my brothers, man, you niggas ain't no kidding me a fact, whoa. So nobody is to blame but Drake because Drake put himself in this spot. Drake was really manifesting it for himself when he named that song No Friends in the Industry because ever since this rap beef has ramped up to the level it's at now, I haven't seen one person, one artist, one collaborator step forward and say, y'all need to leave Drake alone, he's a good guy. Nobody's saying anything, which leads me to believe one of two things. It's either these people do not want smoke with Kendrick Lamar because they don't want him to come after them, or they know that everything Kendrick is saying about Drake is true. So they, want, they don't want to be caught in a lie. Either way, Drake's got to look at who his real friends are because um, no one's picking him up while he's down. So what do you think? You, you think this is just Drake being upset about the Super Bowl, be upset about the L he took in the battle, being upset about it possibly winning the Grammy at this point, and new music is probably going to be coming after that. So this whole year, this whole year is K. Dot year, and he's kind of bothered by it because him and UMG had plans for this year and it's all down the drain at this point put your comments below let's talk about it this is marcus at work media and i'm out this bitch yeah it's well whether whether there was information that didn't get revealed or not the point is like I, there's just some unwritten rules in the sport for some people obviously yeah. not for him and that's fine you know um and he's just made an entire career off of it, you know? And some people like his music. I personally don't, because I don't believe any of it. And I like to listen to guys that I believe.